What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lane and I'm a nurse practitioner, student and registered nurse. And today I'm gonna to be talking about things that I considered before getting my DMP degree. So let's get into today's video. All right. <laughs> So before we get into my reasons of why I chose the DNP, I just wanted to talk about some of the different options that you could do um, for those who aren't aware. So you have first your Master's of Science in Nursing Practice. So that's a degree that takes about two or three years usually, um, and you're learning how to diagnose and treat patients. So when you graduate, you take your boards and you're able to say, hey, you have hypertension and these are the medications that I'm gonna prescribe you to be on. And you get to manage a plethora of different diagnoses like that. So in comparison, the DNP or the Doctorate of Nursing Practice it's a degree that takes about three to five years depending on the program and if you're working. And in this program, it, you're doing really all of the same things as the MSN, but you're also more, you're more so learning about leadership, research, and you are implementing a quality improvement project, which is the culmination of your degree. Um, so you're still learning how to diagnose and treat patients, but you also have that added element of health systems thinking and learning how to manage healthcare systems. And then I also did want to mention the PhD in nursing degree that I feel like does not get talked about enough. Um, so in the DNP, you are learning a lot about translating evidence into practice, taking evidence that's already out there and that's amazing. And how do we actually implement that into clinical practice? But the PhD is actually creating that new evidence. So if you ever have questions about like, oh, like has anyone ever thought about using this and this? Has anyone ever thought of this? Was there any research about this out there? Then if you're interested in creating that new knowledge, um, then the, the PhD might be for you. And that's a degree where you would do more of a traditional dissertation and everything. Okay, so those are the three different areas and I just wanted to kind of I just addressed those before we got into the reasons why I chose the DNP. Okay, so now that we've addressed the different degrees, um, I can talk about why I ended up choosing the DNP as my degree option. So the first thing I looked at was that the American Association of Colleges of Nursing actually uh, produced a statement that said that they think that the DNP should be the degree for all entry level, um, entry into practice nurse practitioners. And so keeping that in mind, it reminded me of when I was getting my um, RN and I have a BSN. And I remember that there was a push kind of saying that they wanted nurses to all have a BSN. Not saying they wouldn't hire anyone with an associates, but it was kind of like in hospitals. If you came, they were kind of preferencing nurses who had a BSN or like asking nurses who had an associate to kind of go back and get their BSN. And so I was had that in the back of my mind and I was thinking, okay, like, if I get this degree, like I don't wanna have to go back to school again. So I was thinking like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the DNP instead of getting the MSN so that I can just finish school, knock all of this out um, in one fell swoop. Because I was also thinking, I wasn't sure where I would be in, in my life in the next five to 10 years and if I would even have the ability to go back to school a second time. So I decided to just do the push and to just go ahead and get the DNP. And then along with that decision also came the weighing of like, do I have enough time? Do I have enough money? Where am I in my life? So I think that if you're someone who's considering this, those are definitely options to consider. I was in a place where I was unmarried, I didn't have kids. Um, so I had, I was afforded the privilege to be able to say like, I can dedicate four years of my life to this degree um, and just knock this out. But I know that's not for everybody. So I definitely think the MSN is a great degree if you're like, hey, I can only really do this this for two or three years and I want to go ahead and get out there that's definitely a great option for you so the other thing I was thinking about is also with the DNP you do get a lot of classes on leadership and quality improvement and I think that that's something that's really helpful if you're thinking in your career in the next even five to ten years that executive health leadership might be something that you're interested in I think that having a doctorate really um, 
it really adds to your credibility and speaks to the fact that you've had that specialized education in that and I think it could open a lot of doors but again that's not to say that with your MSN that you cannot have those things because I definitely think you can you do have leadership background um, it's just that I think with the DMP it's a little bit more like heavy on leadership but yeah so those were the main things that I considered um, but again, I honestly think that the MSN and the DMP are both amazing degrees and I think that you can take either of them however you want to take them in your career. If you kind of want to do some of your education now, some of it later, um, or if you just want to stick to like the MSN, I think that you could still have plenty of career opportunities and I think it's amazing. Um, so it really just depends on where you are in your life, how much time you want to invest, where where you want to go with your career and what things you might want to have on your resume. I know even with the QI project that we're going to do for the DNP project, um, there's an opportunity to be published um, in an academic journal. So that would be also an a great opportunity if that's something that you're interested in. Um, and then to close, I would say don't forget about the PhD in nursing. And if you want to go into research, we really need more nurses in research. So I think that's also an awesome degree if you're like I don't really want to diagnose and treat patients I just want to like do some research on those kind of things then I think that's a great option as well so I hope this video helped you kind of sort through maybe what path you might be thinking of um, and if you have any suggestions or questions please comment below especially those who are NPs I'd love to hear your reasons of why you chose which path that you chose um, and I think everyone is just on the journey of trying to figure out where they, their niche is. So I would love to hear where yours is taking you. So please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll definitely be talking more about the DMP and my project and all of the things that I've had to learn through that. So if you're another DMP student, please listen, listen for that and watch out for that video, okay? I'll be coming out to you soon. All right, peace.